Good morning, everyone. It's a rainy day here, so we made this tent, which is an awesome idea if you have a toddler and um, you just want to keep them busy for a little while. Um, I just used two couches and some blankets. By the way, I feel like I'm an expert tent maker. Um, not like an actual uh, like tent for a campground. I probably won't be much help, but with blankets and couches, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Does your baby want to say hi? <laughs> ah. Hi! Oh, you should show your skirt. I made this skirt um, because we love dancing. And yeah, we love dancing. I had this old dress and I used the bottom half of the dress for a skirt for myself. And I used the top half to make a skirt for Hosanna, which we do a lot of dancing around here. <laughs> Oh, and the baby is dancing. <laughs> so I made this tent because I have a lot of clean up that I need to do from last night. So I'm just cleaning up. Hosanna's helping me and playing in our tent. So that's what we're doing this morning. It's really rainy outside, which is nice and relaxing for the most part, just to kind of hang out inside and listen to the rain. Oh. Oh. One thing I wanted to share with you guys is um, a couple of tips for if you have some things to do and you have a toddler, um, specifically cleaning, if you're cleaning something, it is really helpful to have a couple little bags or boxes of just like random stuff, stuff, I would call them discovery boxes, wherever you're going to be cleaning, like from room to room, have a different bag or maybe take an old purse and put a few things in that purse and, and just kind of plant them in the rooms that you're going to be cleaning in. If you need to distract your toddler, I have some toys that I just keep tucked away. <laughs> you are a goober. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> no. Like, this is a little bag, a little drawstring bag that I put some balls in. So this is kind of like a fun little thing if you need a few minutes to clean a floor or, you know, to do whatever cleaning you need to do. Just kind of pull this out. Um, another thing is if you have an old purse, like I said, put like some clothespins or something that's just kind of random inside. And um, it's a really great distraction tool to plant those little treasure bags or those treasure boxes from room to room. Another discovery little thing you can plant is bowls, Tupperware, old bottles and lids, spatulas. <laughs> Did you want these? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You want to play with this? I hope that is helpful to you guys, especially if you have like a little ones or if little ones come over to your house. Those are all things that I do that seem to work really well. And I have different things on rotation that are just household things that um, Hosanna can be pretty responsible with. So that's always really nice to get some things done or clean up or whatever. And she seems pretty distracted with those things. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> I wanted to share a fun little fact with you guys, and that is that this shirt is seven years old, and I actually got married in it for the first time because Aaron and I got married twice. Oh, okay. The first, we realized that our marriage license wasn't in the right county. So um, we actually got married the morning of our wedding, which was at 4 o'clock. Um, we got married at 11 a.m. that morning in the right county in my parents' house. And um, that is in Rockford. 
on Harlem Boulevard and then um, Rockford, Illinois. And then um, later that day at four o'clock, we got married out in a different county. So this is the shirt that we got married in. So that's kind of cool. Tell us about what you're doing. <coughs> oh yeah? <coughs> Can you say shoes? Yeah, that's shoes and sign language. things I wanted to show you guys that I ordered from Amazon Prime. In my last video, I showed you this book that I got for Hosanna. We actually got a lot of stuff, but we only bring out new things every once in a while. So we place an order on Amazon Prime Day like once a year, and then we once in a while bring out one of the things that we ordered. So I wanted to show you guys what I ordered and what I have in the basement because <laughs> I think this stuff is really good. I spend a lot of time um, deliberating about it. Is that the right word? Anyways, I'll show you what I Erin Erin has Hosanna at the store, so uh, she won't see this stuff. But, um, we got a, uh, some books. There's these ones, and I will try to link these down below. Engineering activities for kids. She's only going to be too soon, but this will be fun. Maybe in about around Christmas time, I don't know, when she's a little bit older. She seems really smart. So I feel like some of the things we can get going on just as a fun activity, a little book and a body training book since we're working on that right now. I got this, this is um, a Montessori, which I have a lot of thoughts on Montessori, but um, some good, some bad, but I got this little Montessori um, wooden reading blocks. This looked like a really cool toy. so. I got this for her. She knows most of her letters already. And um, so I just thought we would get a jump start on reading with that. Um, okay, these books are so cool. I love these. We love just like looking at books and not even storybooks, just looking at picture books. And, you know, if it has trees in it or different things that we see that she can relate to, we always talk about those things in the book. So I found these books from the Smithsonian. This one is trees, leaves, flowers, and seeds. We do a lot of nature walks and it just is really cool um, to go through this book and look at the different things that you might see in nature. And these are from the Smithsonian and they make so many really good books. So I got this one and then I also got another one that is so cool. This one is huge. This one is called Picturepedia, and I can't wait to start using this with her. There's just everything in this, like a picture of everything. And I think this is really cool for her age, even though it might seem a little advanced. We love looking at pictures. She loves looking at um, different things and identifying different things. And this is just such a good book for her, and it's a really, really big book. So a really cool book. Um, if you're into learning, by the way, my major in school was elementary education. So I'm kind of into learning. <laughs> and then I got this puzzle with the 50 states for her. And then I also got this music kit, which is really cool. I have um, a book that I want to show you too over on that bookshelf. Um, this is a wooden music kit. And oh my goodness, this is so fun. We already love music, but there's so many different instruments in here that we're gonna be using once um, we start, once we pull this out. There's a little recorder in here. It's a wooden recorder. So cute, a wooden block. I think there's like 15 different instruments in here. 
so that's one of the toys that we're going to be getting out to at some point. I'm not sure. And then all of the other things that we ordered, we already pulled out and we've used um, mostly because we've um, we're excited and we wanted to use these, but these are all of the things that I haven't pulled out yet and that we're saving. A couple other things that we ordered with like a swimming pool, a whiteboard, um, a couple other little like um, wooden beads with shoelace strings for her to thread um, beads onto and a few other books. So I think that's all that we've pulled out, but maybe there's some more things. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys that because I thought these items were so cool and I wanted just to squeeze it into this video. This book might be a little bit advanced for my toddler, but this is just a really good book I wanted to recommend if you have kids and if you're not that proficient with music and you want to help your kids with music, this is the book. It's called Music for Elementary Classroom Teachers. So somebody who might not know that much about music. This is a really great little textbook to um, do with your kids, whether you're doing recorders or whatever. I mean, really awesome book. So check this book out and I'm going to try to link a lot of the products that I bought down below. They're not affiliate links or anything. They're just um, in case you're interested in them, I'll put that down below. And I'm going to end this vlog right here because they're going to be home and we're just going to take a family night and relax. And thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.